Lines uh, was written in 1905 by L. Whitaker and William G. Fisher. It was dedicated to L.G. Fouts, the president of the Pocono Pines Assembly and Summer Schools. And uh, we will be seeing the verses, and we'll ask you to join in with us uh, on the courts. Uh, before we do that, I have a couple of thank yous that I'd like to do. First and foremost, uh, a great thank you from the bottom of my heart for this dedicated group of singers who came out to rehearsals every Monday night for a couple of hours for the last few months. And I think uh, pulled together an absolutely fabulous show. Thank you. A special thank you to Kelly Swingle, who arranged for our first couple rehearsals to be at the community center. Uh, and another very special thank you to the Salem UCC Church for allowing us to rehearse there on Monday evenings. To June Steinberg, uh, who uh, arranged uh, our access. Um, June was originally going to be in our group. Uh, we're very glad to see that she's uh, uh, healing very nicely. I'm very sorry she couldn't sing with us because we uh, we would love to have her voice added to our group. And also special thanks to Ron Kaler, who without Ron we couldn't have gotten into the church every week. <laughs> uh, a special thank you to Bob Bechtel, who uh, found the, the music for uh, What a Wonderful World for us. Uh, sorry, Bob couldn't be with us, but uh, he's in Japan. I'm sure he'd probably rather be here. Uh, Rick Bodenschatz uh, was the one who directed me to the Pocono Pines. So after we sing it a couple times, you can either give him your thanks or, <laughs> or you can do whatever else you seem appropriate. Uh, and, and most especially, I'd like to thank the one person for whom this uh, group could not exist. Uh, if it were not for our efforts, and that's Judy Tim. Uh, without, without her uh, willingness to sacrifice her singing to be our accompanist, accompanist uh, we wouldn't be here. And, and also a special thank you to uh, Carol Burnham for providing us with the beautiful keyboard that Judy is playing. So we're now going to do. Open up mind for the final number. Thank you very much for being so attentive. Please feel free to join in on the chorus.
the Columbia, it was a big class, but I just wish you could have been there for the first, first rehearsal. <laughs> and just as a token of our love for these two people, we'd like to just give them a token of our esteem. was that he didn't have a baton. So, so we thought it would be very appropriate, but we have good news and bad news. Yeah. Let me give you the bad news first. Okay, I'll go the first. baton we ordered didn't get here. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Okay. But we, we had an emergency meeting this morning okay. of our research team, and they came up with what we think is more... Here, this you can hold that. Okay. We think this is more appropriate is it a lightsaber? This is more than a baton. This is more than a baton. He can slug you if you're not singing properly. You should work under this guy. You should work under this. He stares at you if you're talking. And then you say, would George ever be talking? So, so this serves a dual purpose. He can be smacked over the head, right, Brad? Okay? Or... This is the fun part for Bob. If we don't get, if he doesn't get his attention, he can just blow up. <laughs> 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 